you know, quite a few things uh, when I work with clients are about dealing with difficult people or people who are trying to put their stuff on you, okay? And they're bringing in negativity into conversations. This could be family members, it could be partners, it could be your boss. And there's really a very, very simple and empowering way to deal with this. And I mean, I mean simple, because typically the ways that we deal with people like this who are bringing a negative energy into our life, right? We, the, the ways we deal with it, well, first thing we do is we try to justify ourselves or maybe now we're explaining ourselves or we're trying to explain our position to this person and it doesn't work, okay? In fact, it makes us feel like crap at the end of the day when this happens. So what if there's a way that we can talk about here? Because, I mean, we're going to be around people who are negative, okay? It's going to happen. How can we find a way to relate to people in those situations where we are not taking on their negative energy, okay? Negative energy, I don't know if that's a term I really like, their negativity or their negative outlook. Just keep this simple, right? So there is a way I, I found to do this. And, you know, Eckhart Tolle talks a lot about the pain body that people carry around with them. And the pain body is a part of, of ourselves and maybe it's carrying old hurts, but it needs to come up and feed every now and then or else it kind of goes away or dissolves, right? So people carry around this pain body and it's a lot of hurt, it's a lot of resentment, a lot, it's a lot of anger. And really what they want to do with that is put it out there onto somebody else, okay, to get rid of it. So they, they invite other people into their drama or into their negative stories. And they often do it in the form of an attack, okay? So it could be very critical towards you. It may even be threatening towards you, okay, when it's extreme. But one of the things we want to do is our power in this situation is noticing that I'm getting defensive around this with this person. And I'm now going into justifying or explaining myself or arguing with this person. You see, the thing is, if someone is bringing negativity into an interaction and you're conversing with them, you're not actually having a conversation with that person. And we try to have a conversation with a person in this situation when really there's no back and forth really taking place here. This is an attempt to put stuff on you, right? It's not a back and forth discussion at all. And if we think it is, we're gonna get into problems. So um, a way to think about this is to watch our defensiveness. And now I'm concerned about, well, I need to defend myself. I need to put my perspective forward. I need to explain this. They don't realize that that's the case. And now the attention is not over there on that person who had the emotional block to begin with. Now the attention is all on us, okay? It's all over here. Now that's the problem with this interaction. If that's the case and you're taking it in here, now you're gonna leave that interaction and you're gonna feel terrible, okay? And a lot of people will tell me things like they feel drained after talking to certain people. That's because their energy is going over here and we're taking it with us and they were leaving the conversation and we're walking around wondering what happened? Why is this so difficult for me all the time? And it's a horrible thing and there's a lot of self blame around that. So what we need to do is to drop defensiveness and to realize that the more defensive I get with this person, the worse I'm making it for myself. I'm actually taking it on through my own defensiveness, through my own justifications of myself, through having really any discussion. So now what we want to do is when we realize, okay, well, what's the alternative? Well, think about it this way. This person is bringing negativity towards you. Where should the focus of this converse, conversation be? All the focus of this conversation should be over here on this other person, okay? So you don't use I statements. Nothing is about me anymore in this conversation. The really interesting thing is this person is carrying negativity. So the person may even accuse you or say things or criticize you. And we go into, well, I didn't mean that or I, I meant this or whatever, me, me, me. Really, it should be, that's an interesting question that you've brought up. Now, you don't have to be aggressive with this, okay? In fact, we want to avoid aggression because really aggression towards this person is just another form of trying to defend myself. Okay, it's, it's, it's one of the, the worst forms of defense. People say, you know, in sports, 
attack is the best form of defense. And that may be true in sports, but in interpersonal relationships, it's the worst one, really, because you can guarantee you're going to leave that feeling guilty. So what we want to do is put all the attention over here on this person without attacking them. So any questions that come to you, what you're looking for is not the question. Forget the words, what the person is saying. What is the emotional tone that I'm picking up from this person? If I'm feeling hostility, that means that this person has an issue that they're dealing with and they're trying to bring it here. So you put all the focus back over there. How are you feeling right now? Forget you ignore the question sometimes or the comment they've made. That's an interesting statement that you've made. I wonder why you would ask that question. Why would you ask that question? Okay, so you're putting it all over there where the attention needs to be. Now this person can either choose to walk away, they can become defensive if they want. But what you're doing is you're now walking away from this conversation, having not taken on you know, what Eckhart Tolle would call their pain body, what you could just call their negativity, that wants feeding from this. It's going to grow with this. Another thing to realize is the more you get defensive and you feed into this dynamic, you're actually not helping this person either, okay? So this person needs to be needs to be made aware. Your stuff is over here, and that's really interesting in this in this uh, interaction. I'm very interested in this. Forget what we're talking about for a second. Look at the hostility that's been brought in here. Let's focus on that. Let's talk about that, <laughs> right? So it's this is a very very empowering way to keep yourself safe around people who are bringing their negativity towards you. Another thing sometimes we have to look at is. Am I trying to fix this person in this interaction? Okay, we can't fix other people. And that's a big realization that we have, especially you know in, in therapy or something. We're not really there to fix other people. Primarily, if I'm in this fixer mode for, for another person, if I look at the fine print of I'm the fixer, really the fine print is, well, I'm ignoring my own life. I'm ignoring my own emotional needs. And now I'm getting caught up in a drama that I don't need to doesn't help anyway it does not help in this other person so the takeaway from this is if you're if there's someone in your life that is very very negative okay watch how you are reacting defensively now you will have a little reaction initially when you start to see someone bring a negativity but just become super aware of okay now well, here's that negative re here's that defensive reaction i typically have that's interesting okay well, maybe if I don't defend myself, if I don't justify myself and I put the attention where it should really be, this will be an easier interaction for me to have and I won't come away. Having this, my own pain body, uh, you know, it, it raises its head up and says, oh, maybe, maybe I could join in on this. We don't want to do that. Okay, so no justification. Don't defend yourself. Don't feel like, it's, even if the person is threatening you. Okay, it's like, it's interesting that you would... Um, think that that's a good strategy okay it's it's there's many ways you could put it i'm just thinking off the, off the top of my head here but really it's all about that's an interesting perspective right it's all about that other person really if they ask you direct questions you don't feel like you have to ask them you, you just talk about the question that's an interesting question i wonder where that question is coming from okay so no questions you don't answer questions you don't want to answer with this i'm rambling a bit here but the point is you don't have to suffer these interactions. Of course, there's the other question of personal boundaries. If a person continues to do this, then we have a personal boundary issue, which is, you know, I don't really feel like these interactions are, are making my life any better. And I can put up boundaries or I can at least, at least maybe minimize exposure to this person, maybe temporarily. Okay, maybe not temporarily. But um, in any case, I hope the, the, this sort of little insight will be useful for you at a practical level in your life. And um, as always, thanks so much for joining me here and I'll see you again soon.